So apparently today's the day that Wargaming decided to wake up and choose violence. Welcome to A Tomato Place. My name is Soslo, and I am your humble green tomato. I play new tanks that Wargaming releases and show you my first battles so that hopefully you'll get an idea about the new tank, whether you want to grind or buy it, and what to expect when you start to play it. All from an average player's perspective. So today we are talking about the brand new Tier 9 Czech Heavy Tank, the TT-130M, the next tank being added to the Battle Pass token store. But we'll get to more about the T-130M in a bit, but first let's talk about some of the next Battle Pass rewards and changes. We weren't given any specifics about the Battle Pass because the event hadn't been announced yet at the time of the making of this video. So here is a breakdown of what I do know. There will be six unique crew members with voiceovers from the original actors. No idea what that means. But they will have zero skill BIA and enough experience for an additional two perks. There's going to be three new progressive styles. One for the BZ-75, one for the TVPT-50-51, and one for the Mana Core. They're putting 15 Battle Pass tokens and 3,000 bonds in the base reward section of the Battle Pass. And, interestingly enough, tiers 4 and 5 can now earn Battle Pass points. So you can go grind those lower tiers. The additional bundles will be available for three additional crew members with the original actors, voiceovers, and a 3D style for the ST2. There will be more specifics coming out about the Battle Pass, so keep an eye out for the article and video to get the details. But let's get back to the TT-130M. When I first looked at this thing, I swear Wargaming watched some late night 1950s horror channel that was showing Frankenstein and thought, I have a great idea. Let's mount some rockets to the back of a Czech heavy tank, give it the worst engine power at any tier 9 in the game. What could possibly go wrong? And the M130M was born. I'm pretty convinced that that's how it went. Aside from being slow, it does have an okay 130 millimeter gun that hits for 490 alpha. With roughly a 12 second reload depending on how you set it up. The standard round has 244 millimeters of penetration while the gold round hits at 306. Dispersion on this gun is 0.38, which is somewhat on par for some of the guns in the Tier 9 heavies, and it has decent, a decent amount of gun depression with 7 degrees. The crew layout is, thankfully, quite standard, which should allow you to use any of your Czech heavy crews in this tank, and Tier 8 and up is an exact match to the crew loadout in the 130M. Where this thing really sucks is in the mobility department. It has a paltry 600 horsepower engine and is way underpowered for the tank, leaving it with a top speed of 30 kilometers per hour. While it does have four sets of Chinese heavy tank booster rockets on it, they're quickly consumed just trying to get you to the fight. Even the Tiger Mouse is faster than this thing. Its armor is at least decent, but it has the usual weak spots on the cupola, so you will need to be careful when going hull down. I was also quite surprised to find that it also has a weak spot on the upper plate where the tow hooks are located at 100 millimeters of thickness and up to 260 millimeters roughly of effective armor depending on the angle and exactly where the shot lands some tier sevens will be able to pen you what a concept a frontal weak spot on an otherwise heavily armored heavy tank who would have thought that this would have happened anyways I've got hardening, vert stab, and a rammer for equipment on this thing. So let's take it for a bit spin and see how it does. So here we are on Overlord, and this thing really needs the rocket boosters. If you are not running a turbo, do not expect to get anywhere uphill fast. It is slow. Oh my goodness, painfully slow. And as you can see, it does not have much in the way of gun depression, so we are just going to work our way up here. We've got two more rocket boosts. It's just, like I said, very interesting that Wargaming would introduce another line with this same mechanic after the Chinese tanks.
Oh, the IS-3 made a bad decision. I had a feeling that that was going to go that way. Not 100% sure where he actually shot us. Must have been in the side somewhere. I'm actually a little surprised that that guy didn't have shot in us. Armor is working pretty well. Gotta admit. Oh, what do we got? Okay. Scorpion G also firing at us from somewhere over yonder. I shot the dirt. Jeez, these guys are just like giving away. They're just driving into the middle. As an aside, always keep your strongest armor pointed towards the enemy. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Where are we getting shot at? Lower plate. As far as everything else goes, unsure. Afraid to peek that corner because I do not want to get whacked by the Scorpion G. It's around the corner. Uh, I might be dead here. Oh, very lucky. Did roll a little low. You can see this thing just does not have the speed to get away. Forward or reverse. It is very slow. Would definitely benefit from a turbo. I'm just going to get shot in the butt by the ELC and I already know it. That was way to the side. This guy's just trying to HE me to death. There's, there's, there's somebody. I knew sooner or later someone was going to walk up behind me, but uh, yeah, so not exactly a lot in the damage dealing department, but blocked was all right. So let's uh, head to the next match and see what we can figure out. And here we are on Pilsen. I'm going to give this a try. Taking this guy over to the... Uh, Three line corridor here to see maybe if we can get an early shot or two in. Gonna burn up these boosters, at least two of them, anyways, to get us to the spot. See if we can't get some damage in. And 
this time around, I did change uh, the equipment setup just a little bit. I put... I got rid of the vertical stabilizer and put a turbo on it. And I don't know if that was the right thing to do. This is definitely a brawling tank, not a... You are not my real dad. You cannot tell me what to do. You want to do that? Are you sure? Because that might... Yeah, SU-122. You might want to watch behind you, bro. I think that's going to be the little more important... Oh, come on now. We'll put a very nice shot into him. There. Okay, seven oh three two behind us. Not so excited about that, that is for sure. But he's dead now. So he's no longer my problem. However, there he is. seems to have a much longer re or faster reload than Well, our team might be able to pull this off. Who knows? We'll see. Um, 18, almost 1900 damage, uh, 1900 combined for sure. With a little bit of assist damage, but uh, a much better result being able to get to a spot and fight from there with some support is definitely this tank's play style. Um, that's pretty decent brawling. It's got the HP to really help with that, but I don't... I, I'm honestly not sure that getting rid of the vert stab is a quality idea uh, over the turbo. I'm I'm not 100% sure about that, I guess, to each their own, but it is very slow without the turbo, and that just makes it tough. Um, you can, with the field mods, put a second uh, either mobility or firepower um, for that second uh, equipment bonus. So, do you go with mobility, maybe put vents on to help, and then the rammer um, to help with those crew skills or do you go firepower to increase your uh, shot per minute and maybe even get rid of the dispersion some more I'm not sure so 
let's get into the next battle and see what we get. Alright, so I went and took the turbo off, put the uh, vert stab back on, so we're a bit slower. Uh, by, a, by, a, by a lot. But we got rockets. So we can use our rockets to our advantage and get us up to speed a little bit to hopefully get a little farther down the road a little bit quicker. So we're going to head over here to the south and play the K-Line because that's my favorite place to go on this map. I'm going to run down here and see maybe if we can't, using these rockets, get into a pretty aggressive position at the the uh, Y area, you know, that little divot right there uh, in the sand dune to spot for our slightly more accurate just want a shot for the fun of it uh, medium tanks here I guess the E50M's just going straight forward so there is a Leo There is me missing. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay. Need to get down. Where was that guy? I think he would be able to hit me from there. So the E50M here is getting all. All of the spotting damage. Oh, I got some right there. The best scout in the game. Oh, the enemy BZ crashed. That's that's unfortunate. Okay, something just knocked a tree over right there. Ooh. Hello, T28. Bad chat. I think you can see this thing is definitely not uh, that great of a sniper. Ooh, what? Okay. 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 Sure. You betcha. switch over to heat here or the APCR try and use that uh, a little more effectively not that we'll need to now dead that chat's running tortoise is right up here I think there he is Oh, I missed that. What? Come on now, RNG. Let's... Let's not... No, nah, no, nah, friend. You... You don't get to go away. It's not a high damage game. And now we are out of rockets. So we can't... Uh, no more go fast button. Kind of stuck in this slow very difficult to catch up and actually get some actual damage oops gun depression's not great either where did that go okay
There we go. So yeah, not uh, great, but plenty of assistance damage to go with our cheaters brothers in arms, I guess. Last minute brothers in arms, that uh, sneaky brothers in arms, maybe. However you want to call it. Probably didn't need to do that, but oh well. Never mind. Newbie guy got it, so all good, I guess. Anywho, brothers in arms. 1,098, three kills. But 2,020 blocked damage. Oh, my area, it's just... 1657 assistance. We shot 11 times, hit seven, penned four. And with all that gold that we shot, we racked up a bit of a bill. So we were 20,000 in the hole for that match, which kind of tells me that this tank does not earn credits for you. Oh, well, that was Sand River. Wilson. Again, only made 16,000. And we're not running any sort of boosters or anything here. So we have everything that we're going to have. Um, again, 18,000 in the hole. So don't expect to be pulling a bunch of credits with this tier 9 premium. Uh, final thoughts. It's it's a a very heavy tank. I it, it is so slow. And I think that, that the speed issue with this thing is gonna be the biggest one the mobility um the engine power i'm not sure if 600 is is a lot or that 55 uh 0.6 weight with the the speed and stuff but 30 and 14 34 14 reverse like holy geez that just feels really really slow for this inaccurate of a gun i just I am, I am unsure, like, cause you are really strapped. You, you either have to be, you know, build it for speed and then push your tank to engagements to get there quickly to try and mix, maximize your damage or build it for firepower and just understand that sometimes the mouse is going to beat you there possibly. <laughs> so. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you are interested in learning about any or about another Tomato Plays tank, watch this video right over here.